hi hello and welcome to this video on compiling your first app and running it on the virtual device or the emulator before we start doing that we need to make sure that our project has compiled and there is a tick mark here in the build section so compilation is the process of converting your code and libraries into a binary or an executable that can be then deployed to your phone or the emulator and you can see the output now emulator or the virtual device is a software application running on your own desktop or mac so that you can simulate how the app will look like on an actual phone now because it is an emulator you can change certain properties such as the memory whether it has front camera back camera the keyboard hardware keyboard and all the such features for our example and for this video we'll be running this empty activity just to check whether our project is fully set up and ready to be executed so open up your studio and open the my first app project if it is not open once the studio and the project are open look for something called an avd manager avd stands for android virtual device so if you're not able to find avd icon you can just go on the top, click on tools and then select the AVD manager. Now, once the AVD manager window is open, click on this create virtual device button. So you can see that there are a lot of options here. Please feel free to go through them. You can see that we can emulate an Android auto, a tablet, watches and even a TV. For this tutorial, we are going to use the Pixel 2 phone. Now the next step is to download the system image or select the system image. Now as the phone goes in the market, it keeps getting updates. So you can have an old phone like Pixel 2 running with the latest system image. So here also we will download the latest system image. So read and agree to the terms and conditions and then press next. It might take some time, so let's wait. So the system image has downloaded. Click on next and then leave all the options as the default. If you want, you can experiment with them. Click finish and you're done setting up your emulator. Now, if you go back to our studio and open the SDK manager, I just want to show you that if you have a system with an Intel processor, then you will be required to install this Intel x86 emulator accelerator or the Haxam installer to make your emulator faster and run properly. But if you are having an AMD processor like me, you will have to install the Android emulator hypervisor driver for AMD processors. So this uh, driver is required to make your emulator work properly. And without that, you will not be able to use the emulators provided by Android. So the installation has failed and there is some error. So we might need to do some extra steps before we are able to set up the emulator properly. Now open up your command prompt and type system info and press enter. At the bottom of the information just printed by the system info, we can see that it is listing down the Hyper-V requirements. Now this Hyper-V or the Hyper Virtualization requirements are used to run your emulator faster by emulating a different OS. If you see that the virtualization enabled in firmware is showing no, then you will have to go to your BIOS in your desktop and then enable it. If you see a no for any of the other three items under Hyper-V requirements, then you will not be able to use the emulators provided by Android if you are on an AMD processor. In case any of the other items is no, you can Google for Microsoft Android emulator and you can use this particular emulator for your development needs. Now enabling virtualization in BIOS is dependent on which motherboard or which company's motherboard you have. So we will not be covering that. So now I've gone to my BIOS and uh, I've enabled the virtualization and restarted the PC. So I can see that all four are yes for me. So now I'll try to install the hypervisor driver again. So now I'll go back to my SDK manager. Then under SDK tools, I'm going to install this Android emulator hypervisor driver for AMD processors.
so you can see this time i didn't get any error and we can see the done flag so we are ready to run our app on the virtual device so let's close all these windows and then run the app by pressing the green button next to the pixel 2 api 30. so now here at the bottom you can see that studio is trying to bring the avd online It might take some time for your AVD to come up when you launch it for the first time. So the emulator or the AVD is fully online now and we can see behind that the Android Studio is trying to launch our app on this emulator. So yes, this is our app. So this is how it looks. We have an empty activity with just the hello world written in it. The name of the app is shown at the top in the toolbar and uh, it uses the default colors and themes. So this is it for this video. In the next video, we'll try to run this app on an actual Android phone. If you're still facing issues while running or installing your AVD or the emulator, please leave it in the forum or chats and we will try our best to get you sorted. Thanks for watching.